right, what up, what up? We're going to sit here real quick. Uh, game I just quickly found and going through the uh, Steam Next Fest and looking up demos and just different survival games, different type of games that I would like. You've probably seen this game. I'm not sure. It doesn't seem like it's too big yet. I'm not sure if the word got out. But it actually seems like a pretty good game for a lot of you guys that like the uh, shooting aspect and just survival aspect. I've been playing a lot of games that are not all craft and build, but, you know, shooter and survive. Um, lately, I've been playing State of Decay, and I've seen this, and I figured I'd give it a try. And I, get, I ran through it once just to see what it was like. Not bad at all. If you like to read, you can read as well to the public demo. Um, I'm going to do all this because I feel like the work put into it, to give it for free, to let people see like what the game is like, give it a run. I usually feel like that's the best way to go because it does kind of help people with the idea, do you want to buy the game or how good the game is like uh for example i just got finished playing state of decay owned that game for almost a year didn't realize how good it was you know got to play it for about five minutes and realized i like the mechanics i like the style of play so it was a game i like uh the first one was welcome the second one's controls third one's containers and i had no plans on actually making a video or recording a video but i actually respected this game so much just the mechanics it's not big there's not much this video shouldn't be no more than 10 maybe 15 minutes if that I mean, literally, at that, and that's just me, you know, trying to show some uh, action. But um, this here is the containers, and it's oddly enough, it's funny that the that the uh, the action wheel or the action button is the middle mouse wheel. And I'm pretty sure if you look over here, it should tell you um, interactions. Yes, middle mouse and G to grab items. So we can do one or two things. Hold on, specials four, five, six, day, dawn, dust. Oh, okay, that's a different thing. I'll show it a bit. Um, but to open up this chest, we just need a quick, bada boom, I guess these are the stuff I got from killing the AIs when I did my quick little right through. Um, bada boom, real quick. And when you come over here, these are the items, four items in the game, different items that they're going to use. I guess there's going to be color coding and everything else. You can, um, I can loot the items by middle mouse button, which turns on the cam, I mean, the candle. I can turn on this radio. Um... This, I can pick these up or I can hit G and just place them wherever I want. If you use the middle mouse button to scroll, it'll allow you to place it down a little bit easier. Otherwise, you're picking up G and just dropping it with G. But those are just the interactions. Those are just the quick movements. Um, I like that so far. Now, over here, we have the weapons. You can read that there. Bada boom, bada bang. This shouldn't be, shouldn't be too hard. You can grab whatever you, weapon you want. You can grab a sniper, all these things. I'm not the biggest on weapons, but I can show you what I got here. I got this off of a AI who wanted to come by and try to use strap to attack. But as you can see, that didn't go too well. Um, but yeah, just pretty much you walk up to it. You hit the middle mouse button, and it'll give you a weapon. You can take that weapon, like most games, slide it over into one of these slots. And then... Number six is the AI, so it's giving you an idea of what the AI looks like, what the enemy looks like, who you're going to be shooting, or a Charlie, as they would say in most of those war movies I've watched. Um, so that's just the, the AIs, pretty much. If you want to, right there at the bottom it says uh, you can you can activate the AI by using the F1 demo bu uh, button. Um, maximum numbers of enemies are going to be three at a time max that they'll put out there i'll show you how that's active this is the roadmap they actually give you an idea of what they want to do i do respect everyone that does it on discord i don't see no slight in that i see nothing wrong with that i think it all still works the same but i did think this was a little bit more unique laying everything out right here before you get in the game you can interact you can play with it most of everything that's in the game uh these little ramp things i guess you can interact play with all that there good stuff i think what they're really for is like dealing with the wall i don't know but and then the last one feedback now this is what i'm gonna do i mean normally i won't lie i don't go out of my way to email or do any of that unless i'm really pissed with the game and it didn't work my way but uh for the most part i don't really do this but um i'm definitely gonna do it because for a free game give us an idea of what's going on i think it's pretty cool also you can pull out your strap they have targets so you can have a little bit of target practice I got a banana clip in there, jeez. And then 
Then we also have the slide arm, which is just a little. There we go. So, I'm going to reload that. You got to see everything. You can pause the video, get a quick look, see what's going on. I mean, they even have this here little box. That, like, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to create these, if you're going to be able to make these for your own. Or this is going to be, oh, jeez, that's pushed me. These are going to be boxes that we got to go through maze. I'm wondering if it's going to be like a PvP arena or a PvE where some of the uh, AI does attack. Come on, we got to be able to jump up that dev. Is there something I'm doing wrong? Is there a pull and grab? Like, there's got to be something we can do to get up this. This, this. this isn't right. Okay, I guess we can't get up that yet. But hopefully that's implemented. But, uh, yeah, I like what I'm seeing so far. So I'm going to get up to this checkpoint, and I'm going to get this demo started. Hopefully we can lay a few guys out. I got about four or five kills while I did my running, and I finally got killed as I was trying to exit out of there. But I pretty much shot back. But the, this here is what we go through, so I'm not going to cut any of this. I'm just going to let you see it. And... All right, and this is the other side. So what I did was I had AI spawned on. I'm going to spawn them off just so you can see... We have AI spawners, dual render scopes, camera noise, uh, camera smoothness, um, world FOV, I guess vision, weapon vision, first person vision or something, quality level, texture resolution, vertical sync, like pretty much everything you need. Like I could even make it dawn, day, dawn, well, dawn. We can make it day. We can change it to dusk. And we can change it tonight if you, oh, I don't like that. Don't like that at all. We'll go that. Um, the weather type, you can make it neutral. We can have it rain. Or we can bring in some storms to really mess with some cool people's minds. But we're not going to do that. Um, ambient collision on. Or you can turn it off. Uh, sharpen filter. Saturation. Contrast. Bloom. Like just everything that you need if you want to really be able to have a control, a control of the game. For this first run, I'm just going to spawn them on as soon as I get in here and see what they do. So we're going to do that right now and we'll catch any games. You tell me how you like down in the comment section below. Tell me how you like it. I think the game got a great start for just a quick little early demo. But I'd like to know everybody else's opinion as well. Alright? Cool. Now what I'd like to do is get my strap out early and try to get make it into one of these houses. Oh, they spawned on. I got that little freeze. I noticed when it does that tiny little freeze to here. And what I did the first time and the only time I actually ran on this was I wanted to see what the houses look like. And when I did that, I ended up spawning in the AI right away. And I did notice one bug that I would like to see if it was a bug or if it's just something that happens if your gun's way too close. But Pretty much locked myself in here. Oh, this house is built differently now. We don't have this sneaky, cheaty window to just look out of. So I guess it's not always the same, or maybe I spawned it in a different area of the map last time. Okay. This window was blocked off. That window was not. Let's see what we can see out here. Um, try to crouch. Oh, okay. Y'all here already. Where are you, though? I don't see. You have to be across. There you are. Where'd you go? You're trying to make your way to me in the creek. Where did he go? I want to have to run to him. That can, that can get bad. He, he took his two shots. Test his luck. Oh, where's this coming from? You guys just ganging me? These summers in those bullets. Let's see if we can get you to come out, come out wherever you are. I think you guys are distracting. Great tactic. Oh, jeez, yeah. None of them coming towards me. I'm about to get out there and get messy. I mean, 
This did work the first time, but I guess the AI is a lot smarter than most games, especially for demos. So that's not bad at all either. But once again, loved it. Quick little tutorial, the write up. I'm not much of a reader, but to have it in my face as I practice is not too bad either. I know that's what most tutorials are, but that's actually not bad. Okay, so maybe they're not going to come to the host because I haven't killed anybody. So they don't. Oh, okay. Oh, I see you. I got him. That guy went down. That guy went down. Now, where's the next guy? Oh, look. Even leave the bullets casings. Oh, wow. That's tough. Even leave the casings to let them know we shoot out here. We've squeezed triggers. Alright, so I guess none of them are coming to me. But what I did last time was I had them come to me while I staked out in this house. But I don't want to bore anybody by my cowardness. Oh, this is the second room. A closer window. Oh, maybe we can cower it out for a little bit longer. This I did see a guy over here. He seemed to fade in the wind, but we're going to have to go to him, it looks like. But I noticed when um, the, when the AI would come to me, they would pre be pretty much on top of me. And while they're shooting, it just wouldn't affect me. But I couldn't shoot my gun either. I noticed that was a thing. Hey, TV room. All right, this is totally backwards from last time. And as you can see, the checkpoints aren't too far. So me ducking in the third hose I found wasn't really a coward move. As it was, I just wanted to find a good place in the middle where I know I could see all around me and be able to see the NPCs, get a quick shot at them. But I like it. I, I mean, it looks like it could be a dual player, multiplayer game. Okay, where are you shooting from now? All right. Oh. Oh. All right, I already took that shot, did I? Got him. Got him. Alright, so there should be a third one. And we're all beat up here. So that third one might take us out. If I can get to, yeah, so. As I said, they do have it. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Shots fired from where? Where did the shots fired from? And I'm pretty sure there's something like uh, you can look at all the different mechanics on the gun. So you're not over there. I hear you making your way. Ah, are you there? No, but I hear you making your way. Where is he? He seen me when I was wide open in the middle of the street. I know this is stupid. I don't know where he went. Wonder if I stand up or I get him shooting a shot. I feel like he's over towards my right. Then again, I'm so blind in this game, he could be towards my left. Or it could be the guy that was up there that we never did figure out where he was. Another thing too, if you look up in the top left, your strength, your strength does matter. Like your, like as you see, every time I take a shot, my health goes down. Okay, never seen this area yet. But also every time 
I'm running or the longer I hold the gun out like that, my arm my arm strength goes down, so I can't just hold the gun out forever. Ah, uh, see, he had loot. I can't just hold my arms out forever, or I will end up getting tired. I'm gonna loot your gun. So what I've been, what I've done the first round was I tried to see if I could kill three people, and by the time I kill three people, see if I can get out the demo and transition alive. I mean, that's the most we have for gameplay as it is. But that was just my first little run there. I enjoyed it. Now what I'm gonna try to do is not try to coward out and use like the houses or the bases or anything like that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just run through and see if I can handle my own business. And keep in mind, like I said, even it's not just your health, it's not just your body, it's not just your arms. It's also got to do with like um, oh sorry about that. If you look over here it has vitals like stamina, hydration, energy, sleep, body temperature, mental, hearing and vision and as well as health and your levels uh, volume of stuff that you can keep on you weight that you can have um, it has stress fatigue um, all that stuff like everything that that plays on your mind I'm saying I want to say it's meant it's for military you know y'all guys are the best at it but to me that's that's just what I see I'm a, that's what I took from it but um, yeah, man, this is a, like I said, it's a great game. I'm going to give it another run through just to give you guys an idea because I did pretty much run through it the way I did. And this time I'm going to try to like not so much use the houses as cover. If anything, once I start hearing the bullets, I'll try to like hide within the fields and give myself a chance. Okay, AI is loaded in. I felt that quick little stutter. And I know most people wouldn't like it. They would rather be smooth. But I kind of like that there's that quick little stutter there. Just trying to find the first enemy. So, like, even if I was not going that host, if you notice, it's different. It has uh, windows on the side. So, like, every house, every house is going to be different. I think almost every time you land in the map, the layout of it's going to be a little bit different. Um, just trying to see where we might want to, okay, we went down that road, let's go down this road, oh, there's one, just don't know where he went. We're gonna allow you to get down and crawl. Oh, oh shoot, where am I being shot from? Shots fired, but from where? Where? Oh yeah, this one might have been a bad idea. Oh, where are the shots coming from? I can't see him. Ah, man. Too bad there's no, like, bandage or nothing. Jeez, I hear them coming from. I almost feel like turning at nighttime so I can see a flash. I get a heal. We get a heal in the demo deck. Okay. I think they're all up. Right. I think. Ah! Uh. Gotcha. Yeah, we took care of that. He got too close. He let me see him. He got way too close and let me see him. That was a mistake. I know where you come from, buddy, but that was a mistake. Never let a badass like me. Where are those bullets coming from? I think they're left. I hear them on my left side. That's another thing. I think it, the hearing plays on. Oh, that's it. There we go. Handled everybody. All the smoke. All the smoke. 
So what I want to do now, with my 50% health, is hopefully recover the bodies and get out of here in time. Because I know they're just going to send more. They're going to be sending more. Yeah, I won't lie. Hiding deep in the, in the woods for these guys is pretty good for me because I can't see that far. I ain't got the arms. I ain't got arms long enough to box with God like that. No, nah, nah, bro. Let me get in that inventory. Okay, nothing. Let's get our way out of here if we can before they start shooting. All right, can we get our, can we get out of here? And we'll do one more round. Where we go into the woods or something. I mean, we'll give it one more round. This video's been going pretty long. I mean, there's only so much I can show in this demo. Um, I'm having it. I had a decent time playing the game. I think the game is definitely going to be worth a buy. I feel like you're going to add a lot of stuff in this. Kind of with like a multiplayer or some something to that degree. Um, I'm thinking... Nah, I like what I have. Actually, let's see what gun is this. Let's try a different gun this time, though. All right. So we're gonna run in there. Oh, no scope. I don't know if I like this. Yeah, we'll go no scope. We gotta take the L anyways. Why not go no scope? This gun is heavy though. Like this gun is a lot different. Like you can feel like the sluggish movement of the character of how heavy this gun is. I don't want to be camping on. I, I want to be where the action is. I think what I'll do is I'll try to see if I can make it to the farmhouse. Maybe camp out around there. There they go. They're here. We know you're here. Show up. Show yourself. Show yourself. That's not the farmhouse. See what what going in the woods gets. It's probably dead. I and yeah, you can catch this game on Steam if I haven't mentioned it. It is definitely a game you catch on Steam. Free demo if I haven't mentioned it. I'm not sure if anyone watched this far in, but it's definitely a free game on Steam. I've been trying to showcase a lot more free games. There's a Vic. There's a Vic. As young as we'll say, the Ops. I have a feeling this guy might get us though. Going about this one wild. Be going about this one wild. But I think there's uh, something about being crouched that makes it hard for them to hit you. They'll hit you. You'll definitely get hit. But you're what, are you behind me, bro? Go to sleep. Like I said, a Vic. A Vic. Enemies die every day, B. Go run around, see if we can sniff these guys out before they sniff us out. I see ya. Oh, shoot. He's gonna get me before I get to him. Got him. And we did it. Alright, so... What I'm going to say is I don't know if I make it to the finish line, but I can say, oh, shoot, we got to literally, literally lose these guys. What I can say is on 
serious level, I'm not really the best. I'm not even any good at shooting games, to be honest. Let's be real. Like, that's not my forte. That's not something I do. I play survival games. I find cheap ways to get where I need to get to and get out. You know, I find ways to be able to navigate the game and let the AI go. Oh, and he got me just in time. But, um, <laughs> what a way to end it, actually. It's actually a good way to end this video. But, um, for me to be able to get through it, pay no mind to what I was doing, and still be able to land and finish off. I used a gun with no scope. I used a gun with a scope, and we were able to get the job done. We were able to do handle our business. I never quite used the pistol. I don't really see no reason on using the pistol yet. But, um... Like I said, that's the video. That's all I got for you. Let me know how you feel about this game. Let me know how you what you think about this game. Because I think it's pretty good. Who knows? I haven't seen too much content on it. But who knows? Maybe the developer watches and they may see and get, and get encouragement. That's going to be everything I got for you. Two fingers and peace.